this video will cover the load analyzer during the load flow study case we can use the data output results using the load flow analyzer let's go to the load flow mode and this is dual fit configuration ellipse study case let's run this load flow okay also let's go to single fit configuration and this study case editor this is output single fit let's run this one that's fine okay like this whatever cases you have whatever configurations you have suppose during no load condition also i want to run you can run all the configurations then i will show the okay that's fine all the three configurations what i already created those three configurations already run now let's go to this analyzer phase here load flow analyzer with the help of this analyzer page we can check at a glance we can compare we can use the data we can export this data in excel format here it is so you can export this data also okay let's see here are the three cases i have run this load flow analysis lf case that means that was the no load case LF, dual fit configuration and single fit configuration so these three cases i have run and here here is the here are the three cases lf dual fit and single fit so all these three configurations results after running the load flow analysis you can get it at a glance you can compare you can check in a single phase and you can export also in excel for better understanding better comparison okay you can see this the configuration this is no load configuration this is df configuration this is sf con single fit configuration okay so how many buses are there how many generators are connected how many branches are there grids connected loads load generation generation and load generation megawatt megawatt load megawatt megawatt in each of the configurations and the loss these are the losses so these are the general info, info report type what type info you want so these are the general info and also if you don't want to so don't want to check this lf or any other thing suppose only one so you can check and uncheck and you can add like this okay so these are the general info next this is the bus results bus results you can select bus type source bus node mcc or switch gear load bus you can check uncheck bus info nominal kv ampere rating if you want you can see this is ampere rating column will uh, come and because of the ampere ratings are not provided in our model that's why it's not showing okay load flow results now here is the here is the results so what you can get from this bus results you can you can get load flow result this voltage this is the bus voltage megawatt loading ember loading ampere loading or bus loading okay so here is the voltage 
so at a glance you can check what is the bus voltage in no load configuration at 6.6 .6 kV bus A this is 104.03 in percent voltage this is the unit voltage this is in percentage value you can change it also absolute value so this is percentage value 104 percent in dual fit configuration this is 101.47 percent in single fit configuration this is 98.27 percent so you can compare this data in a single page similarly for bus b 6.6 .6 kb bus b 33 kb bus a bus b so you can check here you can see this uh, for lv1 bus a this bus voltage is exceeding plus 5 percent for no load configuration it is exceeding plus 5 percent it is 106.01 percent that's why it is giving in red color it is giving in red color that means this is this is critical error uh, critical not error this is critical alert this is critical alert because you have set this alert here this critical for red for over voltage 105 percent if it exceeds 105 percent then it will give the alert as critical and in red so here it is coming if the loading is 95 percent then the marginal 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 alert will come it is in pink color okay this is loading in percentage this is over voltage this is under voltage so in this way you are you can you can easily understand it can be noticed easily what what are the marginal alert what are the critical alert so you can compare with the help of this load analyzer page here is the branch results branch results means if you have the cable if you have the cable transformers so what you want to see suppose the loading transform loading here you can see in the during uh, this dual configuration for transformer tr01 this loading is 15.9 percent in single configuration in in single fit configuration obviously this is more so 33.5 33.5 percent loading this is in percentage so this unit is percentage okay so like this you can get the transformer loading or the cable loading this cable we have not configured that's why this loading is not shown if you don't want to check don't want to see any element you can uncheck it here like this only the transformer is coming so in this way you can tabulate okay so next is coming suppose loads you can check the loads also so here is the load kilowatt loading this is kilowatt loading this is kilowatt loading power factor percent actually this if i if i don't want this rated kv so these columns rating or limit these columns we can eliminate okay so this is the these are the loads during uh, dual feed dual feed configuration single feed configuration so all the load status motor status we can check and the power factor if you want to check these are the power factors against this these loads and here is the sources how many sources are there how many grids are connected or how many generators are connected with the power system network what is the rated kv and type also so this is power grid if it is generator then gen will come here so you can check and check like this 
so as per your requirement as per your requirement you can modify you can check what uh, what are the values you what are the output results you need so in this way you can check all the results with the help of this load flow analyzer and also you can see you can export you can export export here in excel to compare so if you export this data in excel file then those parameters are here so you can see these are the parameters this is general this is bus with the color coding so it will be very convenient to easier to understand this is the branch results this is load and this is the source so in different different tabs in a nice way it will it will be available in excel spreadsheet also so this is the beauty of this load flow analyzer and you can paste you can use this data you can customize this data and incorporate in the main power system study report so this is very helpful and it will save your time so this is about the load flow analyzer